deep within the heart of an untouched forest. Where sunlight filters through the canopy of trees, we venture into a world filled with wonder and enchantment. Listen to the melodious songs of birds and take a look around. For we shall encounter a playful and vibrant character. The Little Monkey When a baby monkey is born, we can see that it's surprisingly tiny just like a little flower amidst the forest. With its small size, the baby monkey measures only a few centimeters from head to tail. Its weight is just a mere few hundred grams, like a delicate leaf in the wind. We're amazed by the adorable features on its body. The head is small and compact, like a little ball, with big round eyes that sparkle like shining gems. If you look closely, you can see delicate black stripes on its eyes, resembling intricate brush strokes on a painting. The baby monkey's ears are sharp and stick out like thin leaves, always listening to the echoes in the forest.
Its small and cute mouth has tiny sharp teeth, like shiny little seeds, ready to chew on sweet and juicy fruits. The monkey has nimble feet that help it cling and climb high up in the towering tree branches. Along with that, its fingers are dexterous, just like a human hand, allowing it to grasp objects and pick fruits in the forest. The soft and enveloping fur covers the baby minkie's body, creating an endearing and distinctive appearance. Its fur can come in various colors, ranging from warm brown to bright yellow. This fur not only makes the baby monkey look adorable, but also keeps its body warm and protects it from harsh weather changes in the forest. The monkey's tail is not just a personal expression, but also plays an important role in maintaining balance as it climbs up high branches. It's also used as a versatile tool to cling to and gather different types of food.
In the natural world, the relationship between a mother monkey and her baby is considered one of the most incredible examples of maternal love. The monkey mother is not just a caregiver and protector but also a guide, a transmitter of knowledge, and a binder of family love. From the moment the baby monkey is born, the mother monkey sees is the first opportunity to bond and establish a special connection with her offspring. Through gentle stroking, licking, and nurturing, the mother monkey not only displays affection, but also provides comfort and warmth to the baby monkey. It is through this meticulous care that the baby monkey grows strong and feels the boundless love from its mother. Thank you. 
the monkey mother devotes ample time to teaching and imparting crucial knowledge to her baby. She instructs the baby on how to climb, jump, and move within the dense forest environment. The mother monkey demonstrates how to search for food and other resources in nature, enabling the baby monkey to become independent and survive in the harsh environment. In addition to survival skills, the monkey mother teaches her baby about social rules within the troop. She imparts the ways to show respect and communicate through the troop's own language. Thanks to the mother's guidance, the baby monkey learns how to maintain its position within the troop and understand its rights and responsibilities.
Apart from caregiving and education, the monkey mother creates a safe and peaceful environment for the baby monkey's development. They build nests with the troop, providing a shelter where the baby monkey can rest and seek protection. The mother monkey ensures that the baby monkey is not separated and always feels secure and at ease. The care, nurture, and love bestowed by the monkey mother upon her baby are indescribable.
The mother-child bond between the monkey mother and her baby is not merely a biological relationship, but a profound, human-like emotion. It exemplifies love and solidarity within the animal world, forming an adorable and admirable family community. Monkey infants naturally understand and recognize the significance of their mother in their lives. They know that their mother is the most reliable source of information, comfort, and protection in the wild. Therefore, monkey babies often see their mother as a leader and role model to emulate. The baby monkeys show a great deal of obedience and compliance to their mother's instructions. When the mother monkey emits a warning call, the baby monkey immediately stops and runs to a safe place.
When the mother monkey searches for food, the baby monkey learns how to hunt or forage in the same way. This not only helps the baby monkey survive, but also develops essential skills for life in the wilderness. The baby monkeys also demonstrate obedience and compliance by recognizing and responding to their mother's communication cues. They learn to interpret gestures, eye movements, and sounds from their mother, understanding their meanings and acting accordingly. A classic example is when the mother monkey wants the baby monkey to remain quiet. They will stay silent and avoid making noise while the mother is foraging. The obedience and compliance of the baby monkeys not only as adherence to social rules, but also as a means to protect themselves and foster unity within the troop. By obeying their mother's instructions, they ensure that the troop is not scattered, creating a safe environment and fostering solidarity among the entire group.
the interaction between the baby monkey and its mother brings a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment to both parties. The baby monkey finds security and guidance from its mother, while the mother finds joy and purpose in caring for and nurturing her offspring. It is a precious and emotionally rich relationship, embodying love and contributing to the prosperity of the monkey species in the natural world. Finally, the time comes when the little monkey must grasp the new doors of life. It is a significant but challenging step as the young monkey ventures into independent living and explores the world around. There, they will learn to search for food, build nests, and establish relationships with new companions. In times of difficulty, the baby monkey will have to utilize the skills and intelligence passed down by its mother. Despite the distance, the bond between the monkey mother and her baby remains everlasting. The mother's heart will always overflow with trust and love for them. And as they become self-reliant and mature, they will carry within them the precious values and lessons from their family and troop. Foxes are members of the dog family with over 30 different species living in various environments worldwide. You can find them in cities. Forests. Mountains. grasslands, deserts, and even the Arctic. One of the largest and most widespread species is the red fox living in the Northern Hemisphere and Australia. Like many mammal species, these small-sized, intelligent predators aren't born ready to fight and hunt. Let's find out what newborn foxes are like and interesting facts about baby foxes as they grow.
Baby foxes are called kits, cubs, or pups. These tiny mammals are part of the canine family and are not the only animals called kits. Beavers, ferrets, muskrats, skunks, and even squirrels are also called kits when they're babies. Sometimes, fox babies are even called cubs, which they share with baby bears. While they used to be most commonly called cubs, kits is a newer term that has grown in use. Once they get older, females are known as vixens and males as reynards, fox dogs, or tots. A group of foxes is called a leash or skulk. Baby foxes are tiny when they are first born. They weigh around 0.25 pounds and are around 4 inches long.
However, they grow very quickly and will triple in size in one or two weeks. When baby foxes are born, they can't see, hear, or walk and rely heavily on their mother to survive for the first three weeks. Their eyes don't open until nine days after they are born, and their senses will start to develop after two weeks. At birth, baby foxes don't have hair on their dark gray skin. They start to sprout fuzzy black fur at around two weeks and this fur molts, so a thick coat grows in its place. They will start looking like foxes with longer snouts and pointed ears around eight weeks old. Besides their senses, baby foxes also don't have teeth when they are born. The rest of their baby teeth grow over several weeks for a total of 28 teeth. These baby teeth will eventually be replaced by 42 to 48 adult teeth, depending on the species. Since they are mammals, Newborn foxes rely on their mother's milk for nourishment for a few weeks. Did you know that baby foxes have seriously tiny stomachs? It's true. Their little tummies are so small that they must eat several small meals throughout the day to stay full. When they're babies, foxes can eat up to four times a day. As babies, they must drink about 500 milliliter of milk a day to grow and thrive. They drink only milk until they are around a month old when they start trying solids.
Their diet at the Sage is a mix of breast milk and solid foods for another two weeks. At six weeks old, they start consuming some of their favorite foods, such as mice, small birds, and some vegetation. Foxes are omnivorous animals. They will eat almost anything, including fruit and vegetables. However, they don't eat grains. After around 12 weeks, baby foxes will begin foraging for food themselves, instead of relying on food brought back to them. This can be a dangerous time for many kids as they follow the adults and learn how to hunt, even though they typically start off foraging for insects and worms. After 16 to 18 weeks, the surviving cubs have developed the necessary hunting skills. While they still stay close to the safety of the den during this time, in several months, they will start exploring larger areas or venture away from home. Foxes typically breed in the winter months and have their babies in the spring after a gestation period of around 52 days.
For the Northern Hemisphere, most foxes are born in March or April, and for the Southern Hemisphere, in September. Many fox species will dig simple, roomy dens before their babies are born. Youngkits can be seen coming out of the dens around three to four weeks. They live in these dens for up to three months, while the family stays close by to protect and take care of them. Sometimes kits are moved to different dens during the rearing process. Although there are instances where a female will birth only one kit, they typically have litters of three to seven kits. Sometimes litters can even be up to 11 kits. Foxes need to have multiple babies in a litter, since less than half of all foxes make it through their first year. Although humans are considered babies or toddlers for years, foxes grow very fast. After six months, they look more like adult foxes than kits and are no longer considered babies after one year. They can leave their parents once they can feed themselves efficiently and will breed during the winter months. Sometimes kits will stay with their parents for life, becoming subordinate to their parents in the family unit.
they help raise the next generation of foxes without producing any offspring themselves. Other foxes will mature and leave to form their own family units after around 10 to 18 months. Although some species tend to live in pairs, foxes will also live in small family groups. In a group with multiple vixens, the dominant male will only mate with the dominant female. This means that only one fox will give birth, even though the entire family group helps raise the babies. Young foxes are playful and active. Although during the first couple of weeks, baby foxes huddle together to stay warm and aren't as active, they grow up to be very playful. These intelligent animals are full of energy and curiosity. You can often see them investigating their surroundings or play fighting and rolling around with siblings. Playing helps them develop basic skills necessary for survival and hunting. One of the most distinct sounds among the 20 different calls foxes make is geckering. It's a chuckling type of noise that you'll hear a litter of kits making as they play fight.
It's a sound foxes make when they are nervous or excited. Other sounds baby foxes make are smacking, whimpering, and peeping. Fox babies have incredible sight, hearing, and smell. As adults, foxes are apex predators in the UK. An apex predator is an animal that sits at the top of the food chain. When an animal is at the top of the food chain, it means they prey on many animals, but no predators prey on them. In other countries, foxes aren't apex predators, but they are still a threat to many other animals in their environment. One of the biggest advantages that a fox has over other animals is its senses. While many animals have sharp hearing and smell to make up for their lack of sight, foxes don't. In fact, baby foxes have sharp eyesight, astounding hearing, and an amazing sense of smell.
This means that they are well equipped to handle themselves in the wild. Their eyes have a slit pupil, similar to a cat, which allows them to see very well in the dark. A baby fox has such great hearing that they can hear a tiny mouse squeak from 100 meters away. Since foxes are nocturnal animals that spend their waking hours at night, this is essential to their survival. They use their acute sense of smell to communicate with each other, find food, and detect threats. Fox gets are smelly. You might be surprised to learn that fox gets have a smelly odor comparable to a skike. Even though they can't spray an oily substance to ward off predators, they have similar glands that produce a bad odor. However, unlike skunks, they don't use the odor to protect themselves. Instead, a fox's odor is a way to identify itself. You can think of this odor as nature's cologne. The odor of a fox can be used to determine the animal's status. It is also used to mark the animal's territory, which tells other foxes to move along when they enter their space.
Fox gets also use their urine, which also has a bad smell, to mark their territory, as well. When fox gets grow up, they'll use their scent and sense of smell to find a partner to mate with. That means even more fox babies. How adorable. Fox skits are canines, but have cat-like traits. A baby fox is part of the canine family, which means they are closely related to dogs. They are even distant relatives of wolves. However, they share many of their traits with cats. And no, that doesn't mean they meow. One of the major traits that foxes share with cats is their claws. Like cats, fox gits can retract their claws when they're not in use. Incredibly, baby foxes are the only members of the canine family that can do this. Another similarity that foxes have with cats lies in their eyes. Their pupils are elongated, which makes them look identical to cat eyes. This pupil shape gives them the sharp vision and keen sense of seeing in the dark that allows them to thrive as nocturnal animals. A fully grown fox is about the same size as a house cat. They also have fluffy tails that resemble a long-haired domestic cat, too. Those factors enable the young fox to confidently navigate the harsh and wild world. In the heart of the African savanna, a new generation of lions is born.
These cute and cuddly creatures are covered in a soft, golden fur that makes them look like tiny balls of sunshine. Their bright blue eyes twinkle with curiosity and innocence as they explore their surroundings with boundless energy and enthusiasm. Lion cubs are the youngest members of the lion pride, and they are incredibly fascinating creatures to observe. One of the most distinctive features of lion cubs is their adorable appearance. They have big, round eyes that are often blue or green in color, and their small, cute ears and button noses give them a charming look. As they mature, their faces become more angular and defined, with strong jaws and sharp teeth that make them formidable predators in the wild. Lion cubs are playful creatures who love to interact and communicate with each other. They spend a lot of their time playing, exploring their environment, and practicing the skills that they will need as they grow into adulthood. In addition to play, lion cubs also communicate with each other in a variety of ways.
They use vocalizations such as mewing, growling, and purring to signal their intentions and emotions. They also use body language, such as ear position, tail movement, and posture, to convey their mood and intention to other cubs in the pride. Lion cubs have a surprising and lesser known preference for climbing trees. This behavior provides them with various benefits, including safety, playfulness, and a unique vantage point to observe their surroundings. The relationship between lion cubs and their lioness mother is one of profound affection and nurturing. It is a bond that showcases the essence of maternal care in the animal kingdom. The lioness is the primary caregiver, providing her cubs with warmth, protection, and guidance as they navigate their early stages of life.
This unbreakable connection between lioness and cubs forms the foundation of a strong and cohesive pride, ensuring the survival and success of future generations of lions. Lion cubs have a close bond with their pride, learning essential skills from their mother and other adult lions. They play, hunt, and communicate with their siblings and pride members, creating a sense of unity and cooperation. The pride acts as a supportive family unit, guiding the cubs as they grow and contributing to their overall survival and success. In the vast African wilderness, a new generation of cheetah cubs comes alive, embodying the epitome of speed, grace, and boundless curiosity.
cheetah cubs have a slender and agile body built for speed. They have a yellowish or tawny fur coat covered in black spots, which provide excellent camouflage in their natural habitat. At birth, cheetah cubs typically weigh around 150 to 300 grams 5 to 10 ounces and are blind. Their eyes open after about one week and they start exploring their surroundings within two weeks. The cubs stay with their mother, forming a close bond and relying on her for protection and nourishment. The young elephant calf, a majestic creature of immense strength and gentle nature, roamed the African wilderness with curiosity and innocence. Newborn elephant calves are incredibly adorable and compact, measuring around 3 feet in height and weighing approximately 200 pounds.
the young elephant calves are absolute bundles of joy and laughter. They can be seen running in circles, kicking up dust with their clumsy yet endearing steps. Their clumsy attempts at balancing, often resulting in comical tumbles, never fail to bring laughter to onlookers. Their spirited nature is infectious as they engage in boisterous play, using their trunks to swing, sway, and even sneakily squirt water at each other.
These adorable little elephants radiate pure delight and remind us of the beauty and innocence of youth. The bond between a baby elephant and its mother is simply heartwarming. The calf's adorable clinginess and the mother's nurturing nature create a beautiful connection filled with love and support. Together, they embark on a playful and educational journey, guided by the mother's watchful eye and surrounded by the warmth of the extended elephant family.
it's a reminder of the power of love and unity in the animal kingdom.